biodiversity has been declining at an alarming rate, due to human activities that threaten the balance of ecosystems and the services they provide. The consequences of this loss are starting to be felt by people and communities around the world. Sustainable development offers a way to address this crisis through an integrated approach that takes into account social, economic, and environmental considerations. In this documentary, we explore how biodiversity and sustainable development can be a pathway to prosperity for communities and nations alike. Featuring interviews with experts from diverse fields, this film takes a deep dive into the connections between biodiversity and sustainable development. We examine case studies from around the world, showcasing successful models that balance conservation with economic growth, community development, and social equity. We also hear from communities on the front lines of the biodiversity crisis, whose experiences illustrate the urgent need for action. Through this film, we aim to inspire audiences to take action to protect biodiversity and promote sustainable development in their own communities. We believe that biodiversity and sustainable development are not only a moral imperative but also a key to prosperity in the 21st century. Biodiversity and sustainable development are critical elements for the prosperity of our planet. These two concepts go hand in hand, and when applied correctly, they create the perfect pathway to a healthier and more balanced world. As per the United Nations Development Program, biodiversity is defined as the variety of life on Earth, the natural patterns it forms, and the ecological processes that sustain it. The rich biodiversity on our planet has been decreasing at an alarming rate, and over one million species are facing extinction. This catastrophic loss of biodiversity is due to various human activities such as deforestation, pollution, and climate change, which have also led to other ecological imbalances like soil degradation and water scarcity. Sustainable development, on the other hand, is defined as development that meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. This includes addressing environmental, social, and economic issues simultaneously. It is crucial to understand that sustainable development cannot be achieved without preserving biodiversity. A healthy environment is necessary to sustain economic growth and social stability. According to the Millennium Ecosystem Assessment, ecosystems provide critical support to human well-being, including food, clean water, and air, medicinal products, and much more. It is time for us to acknowledge the grim reality of the world's biodiversity crisis and take steps to tackle it. The 2019 Intergovernmental Panel on Biodiversity and Ecosystem Services IPBS, Report highlighted the essential role of biodiversity in human well-being and economic development. The report also revealed that the loss of biodiversity could harm global food security and increase the vulnerability of communities to climate change and natural disasters. Further, the UN has stated that the economic loss related to the loss of biodiversity could be as high as $10 trillion per year. However, the good news is that there is still time to make a positive impact. Sustainable development practices like responsible production and consumption patterns, reducing waste, and using clean and renewable energy can all help in preserving the planet's biodiversity. Additionally, raising awareness about the importance of biodiversity conservation, implementing effective policies, and community participation is crucial in creating a sustainable future. The importance of biodiversity for sustainable development can't be overstated. Biodiversity provides a range of environmental services, including climate regulation, water filtration, and nutrient cycling, all of which are vital to human well-being. According to the IPBS report, these ecosystem services contribute to an estimated $125 trillion a year in human welfare benefits. Sustainable development practices can help maintain ecological balance and contribute to the well-being of communities worldwide. The private sector also has a crucial role to play in advancing biodiversity conservation and sustainable development. Large corporations are essential drivers of economic growth but can negatively impact biodiversity if not mindful of the negative externalities of their practices. By adopting sustainable development practices, 
corporations can strengthen their environmental and social responsibilities, benefiting the planet's biodiversity and the communities that depend on them. In conclusion, it is vital to understand the relationship between biodiversity and sustainable development, and how they're interconnected. We must recognize the importance of preserving biodiversity and incorporating sustainable development practices into economic growth. A healthy planet will undoubtedly lead to a healthier future for humankind. The path to prosperity truly lies in sustainable development through the protection and conservation of biodiversity. In conclusion, biodiversity plays a critical role in ensuring sustainable development, which is essential for our planet's prosperity. Protecting and conserving biodiversity should be a top priority for governments, businesses, and individuals alike. The challenges we face in the 21st century, including climate change, rising populations, and resource scarcity, can be met and overcome by transitioning to a sustainable economy that values biodiversity and natural capital. By working together, we can achieve a world where economic growth is not at the expense of the environment but instead works in harmony with it. The pathway to a sustainable future is an investment in our collective future, and one that we must all work towards. It's time for us to acknowledge the critical role of biodiversity in building a better world, and to take action to ensure its protection. The world is facing an alarming loss of biodiversity. Many ecosystems are suffering from habitat destruction climate change, and unsustainable development. Biodiversity hotspots are areas that harbor a high degree of species richness and endemism, but are also under threat. Join us on a journey to unveil the most endangered and least protected ecosystems on the planet. We'll explore the lush rainforests of the Amazon and the Congo Basin, the coral reefs of the Caribbean and the Great Barrier Reef, the savannas of Africa, and the Mediterranean Basin. We'll discover the unique plant and animal species that are found only in these hotspots and learn about the challenges they face. Climate change is increasing the frequency of extreme weather events, causing habitat loss and fragmentation, and exacerbating the threat of invasive species. Deforestation, overfishing, and pollution are also major threats to the biodiversity of these areas. But there is hope. Through conservation efforts and sustainable development, we can protect these hotspots and the life they support. Join us as we uncover the beauty, complexity, and fragility of these remarkable ecosystems that are so critical to the survival of our planet. Biodiversity hotspots are some of the most biodiverse regions in the world, but they are also the most threatened. In fact, these hotspots are home to around 60 of the world's plant, mammal, bird, reptile, and amphibian species but they only cover around two, four of the Earth's land surface. Unfortunately, many of these hotspots are facing critical environmental challenges, with scientists estimating that more than two-thirds of them will have lost at least 70 of their natural habitat by 2025. This is a concerning statistic, especially given that these hotspots are crucial for the survival of countless species, and play a vital role in maintaining biodiversity across the planet. There are currently 36 biodiversity hotspots identified across the world. They are located in regions such as the Amazon, the Andes, the Caribbean, the Mediterranean Basin, Madagascar, Indonesia, and the Philippines, to name just a few. Each hotspot is unique, and home to a myriad of different species, but they all share common characteristics that make them particularly vulnerable. Habitat destruction, climate change, overexploitation, and invasive species are just some of the factors that threaten these ecosystems, and the biodiversity they harbor. One of the most threatened hotspots in the world is the Atlantic Forest, located in Brazil. Once covering around 1. 2 million square kilometers, today less than 8 remains intact. This region is home to some of the most threatened species in the world, including the golden lion tamarin, the woolly spider monkey, and the jaguar. Habitat loss, mainly due to deforestation and urbanization, is the biggest threat to the Atlantic forest, with logging, agriculture, and mining also playing major roles. Sadly, the forest is disappearing at a rate of around 0.5 per year, making it one of the most endangered hotspots on the planet. Another hotspot in dire need of attention is the Mediterranean Basin, which covers around 2 million square kilometers. This region is home to thousands of unique plant and animal species, including the Iberian lynx, the African elephant, and the Spanish imperial eagle. However, over the past century, 
the Mediterranean basin has seen significant habitat loss and degradation, mainly due to urbanization, infrastructure development, and climate change. Agriculture, overgrazing, and wildfires have also contributed to the decline of this important region. Today, more than 40 of the Mediterranean basin's biodiversity is endangered, making it one of the most at-risk hotspots in the world. Madagascar, one of the world's most biodiverse nations, is also home to one of its most threatened hotspots. The island's unique flora and fauna are found nowhere else on Earth, making it a crucial conservation priority. However, habitat loss and fragmentation are widespread in Madagascar, with around 90 of the island's original forest cover already lost. This has resulted in a sharp decline in species populations, with many facing extinction. In fact, almost 40 of Madagascar's mammals, 69 of its birds, and 80 of its reptiles are classified as threatened or endangered. In conclusion, biodiversity hotspots are essential for maintaining the health and balance of the planet's ecosystems, but they are also amongst the most threatened. With over two-thirds of these hotspots facing significant habitat loss, urgent conservation action is needed to protect these critical regions. From the Atlantic Forest in Brazil to the Mediterranean Basin and Madagascar, Every hotspot is unique and valuable, and it's up to us to ensure that they are protected for future generations to enjoy. As the video comes to a close, it's important to remember the significance of biodiversity hotspots. These areas are not only home to some of the most incredible and unique species on the planet, but they also play a critical role in maintaining the balance of our ecosystems. Unfortunately, many of these hotspots are under threat due to human activities such as deforestation, urbanization, and climate change. It is our responsibility to take action and protect these delicate ecosystems before it's too late. Whether it's through supporting conservation efforts, reducing our carbon footprint, or advocating In the trailer for our video script, Biodiversity in the Balance Mitigating the Impacts of Invasive Species, we explore the critical issue of the threat invasive species pose to biodiversity and ecosystem health. Invasive species whether plant or animal, are a major driver of biodiversity loss and habitat degradation around the world. These species often outcompete and displace native species, disrupting entire ecosystems and impacting the health of both wildlife and humans. Our video focuses on the urgent need to address invasive species and mitigate their impacts. We showcase examples of successful invasive species management and highlight the innovative approaches being developed to combat this global problem. We follow conservationists, scientists, and community members as they work to protect vulnerable habitats from invasive species. Throughout the trailer, we emphasize the importance of collaboration and engagement in addressing invasive species. We showcase the work of scientists, policymakers, and community members coming together to protect biodiversity and preserve the integrity of our ecosystems. With the threat of invasive species continuing to grow, our video highlights the need for proactive and innovative approaches to protect and sustain the natural world. Biodiversity in the balance is a crucial issue that we must address today. With the increasing human activities, invasive species have been introduced all over the world, causing negative impacts on the environment. Invasive species can quickly outcompete and displace the native species, leading to a significant reduction in biodiversity. In fact, Invasive species are the second most significant cause of biodiversity loss globally. According to the International Union for Conservation of Nature, around 33 of the world's threatened species are impacted by invasive species. The magnitude of this problem is significant, and we must act now to mitigate the impacts of these invaders. The economic cost of invasive species is also enormous. Invasive species cause damage costing up to $1.4 trillion annually. For instance, the emerald ash borer, which is an invasive beetle species in North America, has caused tremendous damage to the ash tree population, costing millions of dollars in treatments and tree removal. Furthermore, invasive species also harm human health and well-being, causing allergies and the spread of diseases such as West Nile virus, dengue fever, and malaria. Clearly, the impacts of invasive species are far-reaching and significant and we must take urgent action to address them. There are many ways to mitigate the impacts of invasive species. One of the essential ways is preventing their introduction and spread.
The world is in crisis, as biodiversity loss threatens the world's ecosystems. In the midst of all this chaos, there is hope. Conservation Technology Innovations for Biodiversity Protection aims to showcase groundbreaking technological solutions that can help save wildlife and preserve our planet. Our upcoming video will take you on a journey to explore some of the latest innovations in conservation technology, each with the potential to revolutionize the way we protect and conserve nature. We will delve into the world of satellite technology and explore how it can help keep an eye on poaching activity deforestation, and illegal logging. We will also take a look at drones and their role in monitoring biodiversity in vast and inaccessible areas, helping us understand the complex patterns of migration, habitat use, and population dynamics of different species. We will also explore the world of AI and machine learning, which can help us identify and track animals in their natural habitats more accurately and efficiently than ever before. Our video will showcase how these technologies, and many others, offer exciting new opportunities to conserve and protect our planet's biodiversity so that future generations can enjoy its beauty and abundance. Conservation technology has made great strides in recent years and offers exciting possibilities for protecting biodiversity. According to the World Wildlife Fund, the global population of vertebrate animals has declined by 68 since 1970, highlighting the urgency of action. However, innovative tools such as drones, acoustic monitoring, and camera traps offer new ways to gather data and identify areas in need of protection. In addition, Artificial intelligence can help analyze large amounts of data and detect patterns that may be invisible to the human eye. For example, the conservation nonprofit Rainforest Connection uses AI to listen for the sound of illegal deforestation in real time. Virtual reality also provides a unique opportunity for education and advocacy, allowing people to experience and connect with habitats and species they may never have the chance to see in person. With these technological advancements, we can better understand and respond to the threats facing our planet's rich biodiversity. In conclusion, conservation technology innovations have provided us with a crucial edge in protecting the world's biodiversity. From drones and sensors to artificial intelligence and blockchain, these tools have shown great potential in monitoring, tracking, and managing species and their habitats. Not only do they allow for more accurate and efficient data collection, but they also empower local communities and conservationists to take more informed and proactive actions towards preservation. However, it's important to remember that technology alone isn't enough. It must be combined with on-the-ground efforts, education, and awareness raising to truly safeguard biodiversity. We must also ensure that these innovations are accessible and affordable for all those who need them, regardless of their location or resources. As we continue to face the challenges posed by climate change and anthropogenic activities, we must continue to invest and innovate in conservation technology solutions that will allow us to better understand, protect, As we face increasing challenges to our planet's well-being and sustainability, we must cultivate a generation of environmentally aware citizens who will take action to conserve and protect our natural resources. Conservation through education is the key to empowering the next generation of stewards. In this new video, we will explore the importance of education in creating a better tomorrow for the planet. Our approach will focus on fostering a sense of responsibility and respect for the environment through hands-on learning experiences. We will hear from experts in the field who will share their insights on the importance of engaging young people in the stewardship of our natural world. This video will showcase successful conservation education initiatives and organizations, highlighting their impact and achievements and inspiring young people to become passionate advocates for the environment. Our goal is to promote this vital message and encourage individuals and communities to take meaningful action towards creating a sustainable future. Join us in exploring the power of education and take the first step towards becoming a conservation champion. Conservation through education is a powerful tool in empowering the next generation of stewards to take action and protect our planet for years to come. According to the World Wildlife Fund, over 1 million animal and plant species are at risk of extinction, largely due to human activities such as deforestation, pollution, and climate change. In order to combat this crisis, 
It is crucial that we educate young people about the importance of conservation and engage them in hands-on experiences to inspire action. Studies have shown that education is a key factor in motivating individuals to make sustainable choices. A report from the Environmental Protection Agency found that individuals with higher levels of education were more likely to engage in environmentally friendly behaviors such as recycling and reducing energy consumption. By providing quality conservation education to our youth, we are setting the foundation for a future generation that is more environmentally conscious and equipped to make informed decisions about the natural world. One successful example of conservation through education is the National Park Service's Junior Ranger Program. This program engages children ages 5 to 13 in hands-on learning experiences that teach them about the unique ecosystems and wildlife found in our national parks. According to the National Park Service, over 800,000 children have become junior rangers since the program's inception in 1960. By fostering a love for nature and a sense of responsibility for its protection, the Junior Ranger Program is helping to create a new generation of park stewards. Another organization that is making a difference in conservation education is the Jane Goodall Institute. Through their Roots Shoots program, the Jane Goodall Institute empowers young people to take action in their communities through service projects that benefit local wildlife and ecosystems. Since 1991, Roots Shoots has reached over 1 million young people in over 65 countries. By providing resources and support to young leaders, the program is helping to create a global network of environmentally conscious individuals who are working towards a more sustainable future. Ultimately, conservation through education is not just about protecting the natural world, it's about creating a future where people and the planet are in balance. According to a report from UNESCO, education for sustainable development enables individuals to develop knowledge, values, and attitudes to be active citizens and agents of change and to participate in shaping a sustainable future. By empowering the next generation of stewards through conservation education, we are not only protecting the planet, but also creating a brighter future for us all. It's clear that conservation education is a critical component in the fight to protect our planet. By engaging young people in hands-on learning experiences and providing them with the knowledge and tools to make informed decisions, we are setting the stage for a more sustainable future. As the World Wildlife Fund reports, the choices we make today will determine what kind of world we pass on to future generations. We owe it to our children and grandchildren to educate and equip them with the tools to take action and protect the planet we all call home. In conclusion, conservation through education is vital for empowering the next generation of stewards. By imparting knowledge and skills, we can ensure that they understand the importance of conservation and are equipped with the necessary tools to take action. Whether it's through formal education programs in schools or informal initiatives such as nature walks and eco camps, we must make sure that young people have easy access to information about the environment and the threats facing it. As we move forward, it's crucial that we continue to invest in these educational programs, particularly in low-income communities where awareness about environmental issues may be lacking. We must also encourage young people to take an active role in conservation efforts, whether it's through volunteering, advocacy, or pursuing a career in a related field. By doing so, we can inspire them to make a positive impact on their communities and the world. Ultimately, by investing in the education of young people, we can ensure a better future for our planet. With their knowledge, passion, and commitment, they have the potential to become the next generation of con The From Forest to Market Promoting Sustainable Trade in Biodiversity Products video highlights the importance of sustainable practices in the trade of biodiversity products. The trailer takes audiences through the journey of a product, from its origin in the forest to its arrival in the market and emphasizes the need for sustainable trade practices throughout the entire supply chain. With stunning visuals of diverse forests and thriving markets, the trailer showcases the beauty and importance of biodiversity products, such as herbs, mushrooms, and fruits. However, it also reveals the devastating effects of unsustainable trade practices, including deforestation and the exploitation of local communities. Through interviews with experts in the field, the trailer introduces audiences to the concept of sustainable trade and how it can help protect biodiversity. It also highlights the benefits of sustainable trade for both producers and consumers in terms of environmental, social, and economic sustainability. Overall, the trailer for From Forest to Market Promoting Sustainable Trade in Biodiversity Products inspires viewers to take action and promote sustainable trade practices for the betterment of our planet and future generations. The Earth's forests are a vital natural resource, providing habitat for countless species, clean air and water, and a range of products that support human livelihoods. With global demand for natural products continuing to rise, responsible forest management and sustainable trade are more important than ever. However, 
Unsustainable practices such as illegal logging and over-harvesting pose a significant threat to forest ecosystems and the communities that depend on them. According to recent statistics, the Global Trade in Non-Timber Forest Products, or NTFPs, is worth an estimated $11 billion annually. This includes a wide range of products such as wild foods, medicinal plants, and ornamental plants. However, while some of these products are harvested sustainably and provide ecological and economic benefits, others are sourced through destructive means that harm both the environment and local communities. To address this issue, initiatives such as the Forest Stewardship Council and the Convention on Biological Diversity have been established to promote sustainable forest management and trade in biodiversity products. These efforts aim to ensure that the benefits of NTFP trade are shared equitably, and that natural resources are protected and conserved for future generations. As consumers, we also have a role to play in promoting sustainable trade practices by choosing products that are responsibly sourced and certified by reputable organizations. By doing so, we can help support local communities, preserve biodiversity, and promote a more sustainable and equitable future. In conclusion, Sustainable trade in biodiversity products is crucial for the health and well-being of both forest ecosystems and the communities that depend on them. By supporting responsible forest management and choosing sustainable products, we can help ensure a brighter future for our planet and all its inhabitants. In conclusion, it is clear that sustainable trade in biodiversity products is essential for the conservation of our forests and the livelihoods of local communities. From Forest to Market has highlighted the potential for such trade to promote economic development while also preserving natural resources. However, it is important that all stakeholders, including governments, businesses, and consumers, take responsibility for ensuring that this trade is truly sustainable. This can be achieved through measures such as improved land use planning, certification and labeling schemes, and increased consumer awareness. Habitat restoration is a critical aspect of conservation efforts, as human activities continue to degrade the natural world and reduce biodiversity. Our video explores the importance of restoring habitats for wildlife and reversing the damage done by years of destructive practices. Through interviews with experts in the field, stunning footage of restored habitats, and inspiring stories of success. We showcase the incredible impact that habitat restoration can have on the natural world. Our video highlights the many ways in which habitat restoration can benefit wildlife, from creating new areas for animals to live and breed, to increasing food and shelter options. We also delve into the role that habitat restoration can play in mitigating climate change, through the sequestration of carbon and the promotion of soil health. Throughout the video, we showcase the tireless work of conservation organizations and individual volunteers, who are on the front lines of habitat restoration efforts. Their passion and dedication to restoring the natural world is truly inspiring. Join us as we explore the power of habitat restoration, and the incredible impact it can have on the natural world. Restoring homes for biodiversity is a crucial step towards a healthier planet. And we are excited to share the stories of those who are making it possible. Habitat restoration is a crucial process for preserving biodiversity. According to the World Wildlife Fund, more than half of the world's population of vertebrate animals has been lost in the past 40 years. This alarming decline is due to habitat loss, hunting, climate change, and other factors. Habitat restoration is an effective way to combat this loss by bringing back vital ecosystems and establishing habitats for endangered species. In the United States, the National Wildlife Refuge System has restored over 10,000 acres of wetlands, resulting in a 93 increase in bird populations. Additionally, the U.S. Forest Service has restored over 4 million acres of wildlife habitat improving conditions for wildlife and reducing the risk of wildfires. Restoring habitats not only benefits biodiversity, but it also has economic benefits. A study by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration found that restoring wetlands in Louisiana could save $8.3 billion in storm damage costs over 50 years. Habitat restoration also creates jobs and supports local economies. In Indiana, 
the state's Department of Natural Resources created a habitat restoration program that resulted in the creation of over 140 jobs and $4.6 million in economic benefits. In conclusion, Habitat restoration is a vital process for preserving biodiversity and improving ecosystems. Restoring habitats not only benefits wildlife, but it also has economic benefits and creates jobs. It is essential that we continue to prioritize habitat restoration to ensure a healthy and sustainable future for our planet. In conclusion, habitat restoration is crucial for restoring homes for biodiversity. It involves various steps including the removal of invasive species, planting native vegetation, and creating the right environmental conditions that support the growth and survival of indigenous species. Our planet is currently suffering from the effects of climate change and habitat destruction, resulting in the loss of many plant and animal species. However, with dedication and effort, we can restore the habitats of these species and ensure their survival for generations to come. Habitat restoration not only benefits wildlife but also improves water quality, prevents soil erosion, and increases carbon sequestration. By creating healthy, functioning ecosystems, we can also improve human health and well-being. It is important that we all play our part by supporting and implementing habitat restoration projects in our community. The indigenous peoples of this land have been stewards of the environment and biodiversity for thousands of years. Their traditional knowledge and practices have enabled them to live sustainably and in harmony with the natural world. However, this knowledge and way of life have been threatened by colonization, industrialization, and modernization. The consequences of disregarding traditional knowledge and practices have been devastating to our planet, with a rapidly declining biodiversity and a growing climate crisis. It is time to recognize the value of indigenous knowledge and practices and integrate them into modern conservation strategies. Through this video, we will explore how indigenous stewardship can provide valuable solutions to address the biodiversity crisis. We will showcase how indigenous peoples are leading initiatives that prioritize and incorporate traditional practices, knowledge and values. These initiatives are grounded in a respect for the natural world and a deep understanding of the relationships between all living things. By showcasing these examples, we hope to inspire greater recognition and respect for indigenous knowledge and stewardship and promote wider collaboration between indigenous groups, scientists, and policymakers to work together towards biodiversity conservation. This project is an important step towards creating a more inclusive and sustainable future for all by valuing, respecting, and integrating indigenous knowledge into conservation practices. The importance of indigenous stewardship and traditional knowledge cannot be overstated when it comes to biodiversity conservation. According to the United Nations, indigenous peoples manage or have tenure rights over at least a quarter of the world's land surface, which contains 80 of the planet's remaining biodiversity. Furthermore, Research conducted by the Nature Conservancy shows that when indigenous peoples retain control over their lands, those lands are less likely to experience deforestation and other harmful impacts. Integrating traditional knowledge into conservation efforts is also crucial. For example, in Hawaii, indigenous knowledge of marine ecosystems has been instrumental in managing and protecting the island's coral reefs. In fact, a study published in the journal Ecological Economics found that the incorporation of traditional ecological knowledge in conservation efforts can increase the effectiveness of management plans by up to 86. However, despite this vital role that indigenous people play in biodiversity conservation, they continue to face numerous challenges. Indigenous peoples are often excluded from decision-making processes related to conservation, and their land rights are frequently disregarded. Additionally, Climate change disproportionately affects indigenous communities, who depend heavily on natural resources for their livelihoods. In conclusion, recognizing the crucial role that indigenous stewardship and traditional knowledge play in biodiversity conservation is essential. By incorporating indigenous knowledge into conservation efforts and respecting their land rights, we can protect the world's ecosystems and preserve a vital part of our planet's cultural heritage. In conclusion, the integration of indigenous knowledge and practices in biodiversity conservation is pivotal to mitigate the current environmental crises. 
the traditional ecological knowledge of indigenous communities provides a valuable insight into the ecological processes and the relationship between humans and nature. It is even more crucial as these communities act as the stewards of crucial ecosystems and biodiversity hotspots. The incorporation of indigenous methods for conservation has shown new prospects in ensuring sustainable development goals are met. However, it is imperative to acknowledge the importance of respecting and valuing the ownership and management of these traditional practices. Indigenous peoples face significant challenges in the protection and preservation of their territories, cultures, and livelihoods, and this needs to be addressed through a collaborative approach. This approach involves meaningfully engaging and empowering local communities to ensure cultural and ecological diversity are celebrated and promoted. It is our collective responsibility to uphold these values as they provide a foundation for the protection and continuity. As the demand for travel and tourism continues to rise, it is essential to ensure that our natural resources are protected and preserved. The world is home to a diverse array of flora and fauna that contribute to ecological balance. However, human activity has adversely impacted many habitats, leading to a loss of biodiversity. This loss affects many species of animals and plants, and can lead to the collapse of entire ecosystems. Biodiversity and ecotourism are two concepts that can go hand in hand to create a sustainable approach to travel. Ecotourism is a way of traveling that is centered around responsible environmental practices, promoting the conservation of natural areas and the protection of cultural heritage. In essence, it is a way of experiencing the natural world without harming it. This involves minimizing visitor impact by reducing waste, controlling visitor numbers and promoting sustainable tourism practices.
In the trailer for Rewilding the River's Restoring Aquatic Biodiversity, viewers are taken on a journey to witness the impact of human activities on our rivers and the urgent need to restore aquatic biodiversity. The trailer begins with stunning images of rivers and their inhabitants, followed by footage of the destruction caused by human activities like damming, pollution, and overfishing. The narrator explains the dire consequences of these activities on aquatic biodiversity and the importance of restoring our rivers. The trailer then introduces the concept of rewilding and how it can help restore the natural balance of our rivers. Footage of people working to restore rivers through methods like removal of dams, improving fish passages, and reintroducing native species is shown. The narrator speaks about the benefits of rewilding such as increased fish populations, improved water quality, and the restoration of natural habitats. The trailer ends with a call to action, urging viewers to join the fight for the restoration of our rivers and their ecosystems. It leaves us with a message of hope, that with collective action, we can restore our rivers and save the diverse range of species that rely on them. The world's rivers are integral to supporting life on Earth home to countless aquatic creatures, and supply water to billions of people. Yet, many of them have been severely impacted by human activities, such as pollution, damming, and overfishing. According to statistics, over 80 of the world's rivers are threatened by various human activities, leading to the loss of aquatic biodiversity. In fact, freshwater species have declined faster than terrestrial or marine species with 27 of all freshwater species now classified as endangered. The good news is, we can rewild the rivers and restore aquatic biodiversity to these once thriving ecosystems. Rewilding involves restoring natural processes, removing barriers such as dams, and reintroducing keystone species. For example, in the United States. The removal of the Elwha Dam on the Elwha River in Washington state saw the return of salmon populations and an increase in the river's biodiversity. Similarly, the reintroduction of beavers in the UK has led to improved river health due to their dam building activities. According to research, rewilding projects have been successful in restoring aquatic biodiversity, with increases in species richness, abundance, and biomass. These projects also have numerous benefits for communities, such as improved water quality and recreation opportunities. Rewilding is not just about restoring individual rivers but also about connecting them to create larger river systems. Connected river systems can support larger populations of aquatic species and provide increased ecological resilience. In summary, rewilding the rivers can help restore aquatic biodiversity providing numerous benefits for both the environment and communities. By removing barriers, restoring natural processes, and reintroducing key species, we can create healthier and more vibrant river ecosystems that support life on Earth. In conclusion, the process of rewilding rivers and restoring aquatic biodiversity is a crucial step towards creating a sustainable future for both humans and the environment. By reintroducing certain species and allowing natural processes to resume, we can mitigate the negative impacts that humans have had on our rivers, such as water pollution and habitat destruction. In addition to providing habitat for aquatic species, rewilded rivers also offer a wide range of ecosystem services, from purifying water and improving soil health to reducing the severity of floods. These benefits can be felt not only by nature, but also by the humans who rely on these ecosystems for food and clean water. However, rewilding rivers is not just a one-time effort, it requires ongoing monitoring and management to ensure that the restored ecosystem remains healthy and functional. Furthermore, it requires the collaboration and support of everyone, from individuals to governments to implement policies and practices that promote the long-term health of our rivers and the wildlife that depend In the 21st century, as the world becomes more interconnected, conservation efforts must also cross borders in order to preserve the Earth's biodiversity. This new form of conservation, known as transboundary conservation, 
is the essential step in fighting against the rapid loss of biodiversity due to environmental degradation and human-induced changes. Beyond Borders Transboundary Conservation for Shared Biodiversity is a documentary that captures the efforts of dedicated individuals and organizations across the globe who are working to safeguard the natural world across boundaries. The documentary explores the role of transboundary conservation in promoting the maintenance of wildlife corridors which give migratory animals the freedom to move between protected areas. Beyond Borders Transboundary Conservation for Shared Biodiversity also delves into the importance of cross-border collaboration in conservation, which is necessary to establish a harmonious relationship between human activity and wildlife. It follows the conservationists who are working tirelessly to break down the barriers of bureaucracy and differing cultures, to bring about the harmonious coexistence between natural resources and human civilization. Beyond Borders Transboundary Conservation for Shared Biodiversity serves as an inspiration to those who aim to preserve the beautiful variety of life on our globe for the generations to come. The documentary highlights the measurable impact of transboundary conservation, emphasizing that together in collaboration, no boundary can ever hinder the spirit and determination of conservationists towards protecting the planet's biodiversity. Beyond Borders Transboundary Conservation for Shared Biodiversity is an important initiative developed to protect and conserve biodiversity across borders and international boundaries. The main goal is to foster cross-border cooperation and collaboration among communities, governments, and conservation organizations to conserve the shared natural resources. The urgency to conserve biodiversity arises from alarming statistics that we cannot afford to ignore. According to the International Union for Conservation of Nature, 1 in 8 bird species, 1 in 3 amphibian species, and 1 in 4 mammals are at risk of extinction. Furthermore, the United Nations report highlights that biodiversity loss is affecting millions of livelihoods with potentially devastating consequences for people, ecosystems, and the planet. Transboundary conservation initiatives have yielded promising results, providing evidence that collaboration can bring positive outcomes for shared biodiversity. The Mayete Wildlife Reserve and Liwe National Park in Malawi, for example, have shown that transboundary conservation efforts have led to an increase in the number of wildlife populations. Similarly, in Costa Rica and Panama, the La Amistad International Park has been successful in protecting endangered species, restoring damaged ecosystems, and promoting community development. To ensure the success of these initiatives, it is crucial to engage local communities in conservation efforts actively. Communities hold vital knowledge and insights on the local biodiversity, and their involvement can ensure that conservation plans are timely, relevant, and effective. By empowering local communities to take ownership of their resources, we can build a sustainable future that prioritizes the needs of both people and the planet. In conclusion, Beyond Borders Transboundary Conservation for Shared Biodiversity is a critical initiative that provides hope in the fight against biodiversity loss. Collaborative efforts across borders and international boundaries can help us achieve a sustainable, equitable and healthy planet for all. In conclusion, the implementation of transboundary conservation efforts has proven to be critical in safeguarding shared biodiversity beyond borders. Through active collaboration and continuous communication amongst stakeholders, these efforts have facilitated the preservation of threatened species, the protection of critical habitats, and the sustainable management of natural resources across regions and countries. It is evident that transboundary conservation is necessary for wildlife and the environment to thrive and it also fosters various economic, social and cultural benefits for local communities. The challenges of such conservation initiatives are numerous, ranging from political differences to socio-cultural barriers, and require strategic planning, and effective management frameworks to overcome them. Nonetheless, the results of transboundary conservation efforts suggest that they are yielding substantial benefits and more regions and countries should adopt this model for the protection of shared biodiversity. With increased awareness and sensitivity towards the importance of conserving the environment and its inhabitants, the future of transboundary conservation efforts looks promising, and we urge all stakeholders to continue in The undeniable impact of climate change has brought about unprecedented challenges to our planet, and its ecosystems. 
the need to cultivate biodiversity has become more crucial now than ever before as we strive to build adaptive ecosystems that can withstand and recover from the adverse impact of climate change. The importance of biodiversity in mitigating the effects of climate change cannot be overstated. This video aims to explore the critical role of biodiversity in fostering climate resilience and building adaptive ecosystems. Through this video, we will embark on a journey that will take us through the intricate connections between biodiversity and climate resilience, highlighting the importance of diversity in ecosystems. Through insightful interviews with experts in the field and riveting visuals, we will get a glimpse into the remarkable transformations taking place in the world of biodiversity conservation to build adaptive ecosystems. This video will showcase the benefits of biodiversity in creating ecosystems that can sustain climate-related challenges, allowing them to recover more quickly from the impacts of climate change. Join us on this exciting expedition towards understanding the importance of biodiversity in building resilient ecosystems, biodiversity, or the variety of life on Earth is a critical component of a healthy and resilient ecosystem. According to recent studies, global biodiversity is declining at an alarming rate, with over 1 million species facing the threat of extinction. In fact, the current rate of extinction is estimated to be 100 to 1,000 times greater than the natural rate. This loss of biodiversity poses a significant risk to ecosystems and human well-being, as it can result in the loss of critical ecosystem services such as food, clean water, and air as well as the loss of important cultural and social values. Climate resilience building is a crucial aspect of adapting to climate change and its effects on biodiversity. As temperatures rise, ecosystems face numerous challenges, including altered rainfall patterns, increased frequency and intensity of extreme weather events such as cyclones, and prolonged droughts. These changes can lead to habitat loss, changes in the timing of seasonal events, and unfavorably affect the life cycles of plants and animals. Building adaptive ecosystems is critical as it involves creating areas that are better equipped to handle these changes. One of the key strategies for implementing biodiversity and climate resilience building is the use of nature-based solutions. These can include the restoration of natural habitats such as forests, wetlands, and coral reefs, as well as the use of green infrastructure such as nature-based drainage systems, green roofs, and urban parks. According to recent research, Nature-based solutions can provide significant benefits in terms of reducing greenhouse gas emissions and adapting to the impacts of climate change while also providing other benefits such as improved air and water quality, reduced urban heat island effects, and improved social well-being. Another critical aspect of biodiversity and climate resilience building is the consideration of social equity and justice. The impacts of climate change and biodiversity loss are not felt equally, and vulnerable communities such as indigenous peoples, women, and the economically disadvantaged, are often the most affected. Building adaptive ecosystems that take into account these inequities is essential to ensure that everyone is able to adapt to climate change and benefit from biodiversity conservation. In conclusion, biodiversity and climate resilience building are essential for ensuring the long-term health and sustainability of ecosystems and human life. Through the use of nature-based solutions, the restoration of natural habitats, and the consideration of social equity, we can create adaptive ecosystems that are better equipped to handle the challenges of a changing climate and protect our planet's biodiversity for generations to come. In conclusion, it is vital that we prioritize biodiversity and climate resilience in our efforts to build adaptive ecosystems. The effects of climate change are not only impacting our environment but also our social and economic well-being. By conserving and restoring natural habitats, we can provide a stable environment for wildlife, maintain natural resources, and benefit local communities. Through sustainable management practices and collaborations between different stakeholders, including governments, NGOs, and local communities, we can build resilience and adaptive capacity in ecosystems. As a society, we must develop a greater understanding of the value of biodiversity and integrate it into our decision-making processes. By prioritizing biodiversity and climate resilience, we can create a more sustainable future and protect our planet for generations to come. Building adaptive ecosystems requires significant effort and investment, but the benefits are immense. Together, we can work towards a future. The trailer for biodiversity and food security cultivating diversity for a sustainable future shows the importance of protecting and maintaining a diverse range of crops to ensure long-term food security. The trailer features various experts and farmers who explain the crucial role that biodiversity plays in sustainable agriculture. They discuss how monoculture and the use of genetically modified organisms, GMOs, threaten biodiversity and ultimately weaken our food system. 
The trailer highlights the importance of supporting small-scale farmers who prioritize sustainable and diverse growing practices. Equally important, the trailer emphasizes the direct link between biodiversity and food security, illustrating how lack of diversity in crops puts our food supply at risk and leads to vulnerability in the face of climate change. The trailer ends on an empowering note, encouraging viewers to make small farmers thrive through conscious consumption and policy support. Viewers are urged to understand that biodiversity is not just a lofty concept for environmentalists but, but rather an integral part of food security that affects us all. The trailer is sure to spark dialogue and highlight the importance of cultivating diversity for a sustainable future. Biodiversity is essential for food security, and cultivating diversity is crucial for a sustainable future. In recent years, the decline in biodiversity has become a pressing issue, and its effects on food production have been felt worldwide. According to the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, FAO, around 75 of the world's food comes from just 12 plants and 5 animal species, which is an alarming statistic as it highlights a lack of diversity in our food production systems. The loss of biodiversity not only has an impact on food security but also has economic implications. A study conducted by the World Wildlife Fund revealed that the estimated value of ecosystem services lost due to deforestation in Latin America and the Caribbean is approximately $6 billion per year. This loss affects not only the economy but also the livelihoods of farmers who rely on agriculture for their income. Cultivating diversity is essential for a sustainable future. According to the FAO, there are over 7,000 known plant species used for food worldwide, yet just a few of these species feed most of the world's population. Promoting the use of underutilized crops and breeding seeds that are resilient to changing environmental conditions can help to diversify our food production systems. This approach can both increase food security and resilience against future climate change. The benefits of biodiversity extend to local communities and global food systems. Farmers who practice agroecology a farming system that relies on the diversity of crops and a healthy ecosystem, have been shown to have increased crop yields. Furthermore, these farming practices promote the use of traditional crop varieties, which are often more resilient to pests and diseases. In conclusion, cultivating diversity is crucial for ensuring global food security and creating a sustainable future. The statistics indicate that our current food systems lack diversity resulting in economic and livelihood losses in our communities. Encouraging alternative underutilized crops, breeding seeds resilient to environmental changes, and promoting agroecology is some of the ways we can prioritize biodiversity in our food systems. In conclusion, the significance of biodiversity in ensuring food security cannot be overstated. Cultivating diverse crops and protecting the natural habitats of different species not only helps to contribute to sustainable agriculture and food production, but also to protect the Earth's natural ecosystems. We need to consider the long-term impacts of our food choices and the farming practices we support, and strive towards a more sustainable future where our food supply is secure and our environment is protected. With increasing populations and changing climates, it's more important now than ever before to prioritize the preservation and promotion of biodiversity. By doing so, we not only ensure our own food security, but also protect countless other species and ecosystems that rely on a healthy, diverse environment. Let us all take steps to support sustainable agriculture.